Um, as if a lot of people remember, I was saying I was doing uh, modifications. Well, as you can see, it's completely well. It's like the same kind of, you know, design, just different wood and a bit more nicer looking. This is a um, uh, different wood. It's called basswood. It's um, uh, very animal friendly. Um, you don't want to use pine and stuff like that because it gives off a uh, bad smell that can hurt the animals and stuff. And uh, I was using plywood, and uh, plywood actually has a very very bad chemical in it called, or whatever called um, formaldehyde. It can cause cancer and stuff like that and apparently if you have it in like your house like you can't even get life insurance so that's like just how bad it is because old insulation used to have formaldehyde in it um <clears throat> so yeah just um i figured i'll tell you i ordered the glass for this it's gonna be um uh the glass is and it's tempered so it uh so the it can't break it's a really strong glass <clears throat> so what i did was up here get up here first Oh man, getting old. Okay, um, got a ledge around here for the screen to sit on. It's perfect. It's a nice tight fit. And up there, so you actually let me see here. Let's look at it like that. You can see the ledge right there. And this just comes down and sits on it for the screen. We got one for that side and one for this side. We did that because these screens are actually pretty expensive. They're like thirty bucks each. So I wanted to incorporate these so I didn't have to waste them. Um, everyone's always asking me, oh, how's it going to sit on the tank and stuff like that. If you look down here, you can see there's a light. Uh, it's kind of a little trim out here. Um, look under here. There's a gap there. Right here, it's going to be sitting on the tank, right? And then the trim is going to prevent it from sliding back and forth and, like, falling off the tank. So it's going to be like that. And what I did is, instead of screwing the plexiglass onto here, my dad um, helped me cut a um, uh, kind of like a mortise and tendon cut in here. So the plexiglass is actually just kind of sitting in here. It, I can't really move it. But um, uh, if I were to take the top off, this can just, the plexiglass can slide right out. <clears throat> So, um, uh, there, you can see it down there, it just kind of sits in there. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, okay, so that's what it looks like with all the pink stuff on the inside. Yeah, it's the siding. So, I took, I didn't put, like, I might end up doing it before I guard it, like, pieces, you know, that kind of stick out like this. I actually put a bunch of ledges on here. Right there, and then one over here. Um, so all together, it looks like this. Right, and over here, I haven't got it up, like set on here yet. I have the waterfall. It's gonna be here, and it's gonna be. Yeah, I think you get the idea. But um, uh, for now, I just have these. They're just um. Let's see if I'm. Like, See, I just cut a hole out in there, and cut these things out, and they just slide in there like this. But obviously, once I grout it, they're, they're going to be permanently staying in there. Has to push back. Has to, I'm going to silicone it to the back here. It's going to be silicone, and then the back of this is going to be painted black, so you can't see all the pink and stuff like that. Um. I got sticks and everything and branches and vines and leaves and everything to all go in here to make it look nice and everything and for them to climb on. Um, I mean, that's... Me and my girlfriend painted the back styrofoam black so you won't be able to see the pink styrofoam. That's what the pink styrofoam looked like there. Used it on the back, painted it all the way around. Looks like a mirror, I know you can see me in my dad's messy garage. We still have the tape on there because we gotta touch it up because from us moving around the grout, it kind of got dinged up a bit, so we gotta do some touching up. Okay, now that was fast enough. I'll show you the inside. Hope you're ready. 
everyone's been waiting for this and I've been waiting for it and my dad just finished it like an hour and a half ago so okay there's all the inside there's three different types of well three different colors of grout there's this green then there's this green and then there's gray this is called bay leaf green this is called you know, that's called winter gray and this green had a really weird name I can't remember it and they discontinued it but it had a really cool name um, so yeah these things here they turned out amazing they're very sturdy like I swear to God I could step on it and it would not break just kidding but they're very sturdy um, I made this one here it's all green this one's all gray this one's green and gray this one here is gray and that one's green and gray um, what we did was kind of make it look really 3D if you can tell you can see that it comes up I don't know there you can see that one there it comes up sticks out and everything and um, yeah so it looks really good another thing is the waterfall I didn't do the whole waterfall thing like I said I would I know I said I wanted to do a great big waterfall coming down here but trust me building a homemade waterfall is a freaking pain in the ass okay Sorry for all them little kids who's watching this, but seriously, it's a pain in the ass. Um, so I just came up with this little simple idea, just to make a box, you know, kind of. And um, here's a tube down here. This tube here, I got a little pump for it. It's going to go in his tank. The tank's going to have water in it. Um, going to pump the water up. It's going to be coming out. I have it in the back here. You can see it, the hose. The hose is right there. All right. And it's going to come up there, it's going to come right out here, I'm going to cut this off or just pull it down, whatever. It's going to come trickling out here, this is going to fill up, and it's just going to overflow here. And you can see what I did, is I made it taper down like this, there. That way it will only overflow in this little area here, and not all over the place. So I'll just, you know, make it messy and it will leak everywhere and everything. It's, um, you know, no water's going to leak anywhere, it's grout, we painted it on. What I mean by painting it is, it's really amazing how this turned out because we painted it on. What you do is where you're going to put the stuff, say I put it here, before you put any of this on, you put a paintbrush in um, water, you do the design of just water on there, and you get the grout, and you stick it on, you cut, you mold it to how you want it, but not perfectly smooth like this, and then you get the paintbrush wet again, and then you brush it, and then you smooth it all down with the paintbrush, and it looks stuff, stuff like this. That's why you can see the brush marks all through there. You know, it's all paint brushed on and everything. And it really looks good. I think if if you guys don't think it looks the greatest, you know, I could honestly care less because me and my dad built it. My girlfriend helped me with some things too, and I'm very proud of it. And I paid all of it with my own money too, so I'm proud of this thing. Um. I'll give you a look at it from far away here. That's what it looks like on that side. I like that thing right, right there. Looks sweet. I like that. That was the last thing I did on it. Next to the waterfall, I had to go with that last. And then over here, just like that. And I'm going to have sticks coming up here and over there and leaves hanging off of it and stuff. And it's going to be really neat looking. <clears throat> so there you have it, that's what it all looks like, this last part has to be quick because I don't know how much time I have left, I think I went over my time limit, so I'm going to have to cut other parts out. So this is the part everyone was waiting for, there's going to be one last video, it's not going to be called the Varium part, whatever, it's just going to be um, uh, Chinese Water Dragon's new enclosure, custom built enclosure or whatever. That's what the next video is going to be called, and that one's going to be a completely finished. I already have everything for it. The only thing that has to be done now is I'm going this week, and I'm ordering the glass, and it's going in, and they're going to be sliding doors. And then it's 110% done. Because I have all the pumps and everything, the heaters, all up in my room. I hope you guys like it. I really like that little thing there. <laughs> Looks sweet. Bloody sweet. Alright, thanks a lot guys.